Hawks with Jamal O'Shea playing it forward here. Missed initially there by Mark Griffin, but taken up here instead by Domical Walsh. About to be pursued by Michael Garrett the ball. He's gone by him. Then Jack McCaffrey's in with the next challenge, but can't get to it. And carries a attack almost breaks down here. But eventually the hand goes in. Odomico tries to get to it. They're all trying to get to it. And there's a trip there on Colin Cooper as he was racing forward just outside the 20 meter line. And it's gonna be a free in, and it's a chance for Kerry now to get level. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Jerry. So, yeah, on the 21 uh, meter line, uh, you would feel this is an easy tap off for the Goose. But I see some of the double crowd are giving you know, a shout at the noise and distrust that the referee Cormac Mike Mike the felt that uh, um, the felt that Kieran Donnelly had uh, had that ball on the ground by punching away from the double foot back line. But look at it's absolutely fascinating. It's end to end stuff. This is a great response you know, to equalise for Kerry. Look at who's going to win us with 15 minutes left. I don't have a clue, but it's just an absolutely intriguing and fascinating. Tom Bond not quite reading the tea leaves just yet. That foul was by Johnny Cooper, by the way, on uh, the uh, Kerry attacker, Colin Cooper. Adrian Eames. Yeah, Jared Dublin about to make yet another change, awaiting confirmation as to who the ball, but Darren Daly will be on very, very shortly. Darren Daly, who was uh, another defender, who was once played in a, a league final here, I seem to remember a couple of years ago, he came on as a forward for a short period of time in that match, and the player is going off, I think, is Paddy Andrews. So Darren, or is it Paddy Andrews, has come towards the near side, but anyway, just giving for attention. Oh, he's just working. to the Kerry player who was fouled in that last attack. It's Colin Cooper. Up in the stands today, I can tell you, plenty of uh, Mayo people keeping an eye on all of this, including the team manager, James Holland, of course. They'll be back in three weeks' time. Cooper is sitting down, being attended to by three medical personnel, and they'll want him back up on his feet. It was a hefty challenge there by Johnny Cooper, who was already yellow-carded, so he's really got to be very, very careful here now. Back to Edwin Eames. Facing up his boots and ready to rush the fray very, very shortly, Jerry. I'd be surprised if they do make uh, alterations to their initial plans because if, if this thing changes, this whole scenario changes by the 32nd, really. It's uh, it's a fascinating game. Only one between the river. It's Kerry 3 8, 17 points. Dublin leading by 115. That's 18 points. One between them. Cooper's back up on his feet. There are 57 minutes of this game gone. 13 to go. Cooper's about to kick a free from 20 metres out at the Davin end, steadying himself, taking a little run with it, and then kicking with the left straight over the bar, and he's got four points in this match, two of them from play, two of them from threes, the teams are level for the fifth time, it's now Dublin 115, 18 points, yes, Kerry 3-9. Great to see the goose back with feet, Jared, like I, I'm not going for a second, but suggest Jesse was taking a beat there for the last two minutes, or beat the free, he was down by this comics, but this is just end to end. Keanu Sullivan breaking out of defence for Dublin, up there with it as far as Dean Rock, comes back towards the 65 metre line, before giving it to Jack McCaffrey, his wing back, he drives it in long, and out came the goalkeeper, it wavered in the breeze a little bit, like breeze here at Grove Park, goalkeeper has it for Kerry, under a lot of pressure, gives it back to Phil Fitzgerald, goalkeeper will get back in his line fairly quickly, then it's given out as far as Mark O'Shea, and finally, with all the pressing that Dublin are doing, Kerry managed to remain composed, hold possession, deny Dublin the football, and Kerry get a chance to get it out of their own 45 minute line by taking about six, seven, eight passes to do so, however, and expending an awful lot of energy. Finally, it's kicked forward into midfield as far as Declan O'Sullivan, who made a good run forward. Now he gets away from Keen O'Sullivan, and now Kerry have a very meaningful opportunity of getting the next score. O'Sullivan still, on his shoulder is Tomas O'Shea, coming from left out forward, he skies it up into the sky, it's going to drop there from the star, however, tangling with his fullback, eventually runs loose to Johnny Cooper, and that is the thing about uh, Donny, of course, they have learned to Dublin from that last match, if you get the fist in, get the ball away from him, and somebody else anticipates the pick-up, Cooper did it that time, they get it down as far as Paddy and 